Hey YouTube, um, unboxing from Blood Bank. Now, um, I didn't cut the paper, I didn't cut anything, so I would have more time to talk. So, unfortunately, this unboxing is not for a positive reason, or, well, the reason why I'm unboxing isn't a good reason, I should say. Um, so, the mail I won from the auction, in the Double Dragon auction, unfortunately passed I'm I'm not sure what happened um still don't know what happened he was doing fine eating fine and he was growing very quickly actually not sure what happened at all so it took me by complete surprise a few hours before I found him he was running around the cage so I'm not sure what happened but I had came up with the name Ziggy like a few a day or two before but since um he's no longer with us I decided in memory of him I'm gonna name this dragon Ziggy is well so um now before I get this started um um this dragon is not I usually get if you've noticed I usually get basically baby babies like to five inches big and the reason I do that is because I just like for some reason having the feeling that um that that I'm um raising it basically all the way up by myself like I know it I've known it since it was basically a baby but tiny actually but um this time I'm not gonna be doing that because uh Basically, my Dubia colony, the babies aren't getting big enough, quick enough, the Dubia babies, so, uh, so, um, uh, I can't think, oh, so, most of mine are medium-sized, because they're growing very quickly, they're medium-sized to nearly adults, so, I was getting a, I got a bigger male, so, message from Steve, I uh, says, thanks, Brandon, you rock. Uh, really nice guy. Handled it very well. So, I'm just gonna unbox this really quick. Hold on. Give me one second so I can get this out. Okay. Now, he's not an adult or anything at all. He's not very close up. He pooped too. Great. I just got a little bit of that fluid leaking through on my finger. So, the perks of owning a dragon, I guess. But, um... Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, actually, I did get him a new cage, his his own new cage. So I'm not gonna be showing that off actually right now. Actually, in this video, I should say, I'm gonna wait a few days after. In a few days, I'm probably gonna do an update on him, and that's when you'll see how he's doing. Yeah, he pooped. Ugh. Oh, you're a dirty little guy who likes to poop. And you're a very cute little guy, too, huh? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, he's a cutie. Hold on, sit there. It's weird. I don't see, like... It doesn't look like he actually pooped. It looks like he just had, like, liquid runny. Like, I don't know, it's weird. It's not, like, actually poop. It's weird. All right, so here he is. He's, um, oh, sorry, um, he's, he's a hypo, he's a hypo translucent, um, male, but the weird thing is about him, he doesn't have the full black eyes, and he's not a partial trans either, because he's got all the characteristics of a, a real, um, hold on, I can't get his stomach that well, but it is very blue, um, he, he's got all the characters, I was wondering, I thought it was, like, mispronounced or whatever, but he's got all the character characteristics of a normal, uh, uh, full translucent, and um, I liked him because I the male I have the male hypo tr trans is a uh, he's a reddish color and this one's like a nice um, citrusy color and nice orange. I like the way the bar is just completely straight down his back two sides, but um, he's really cute, nice, and um, he does have a little nip unfortunately but it's not bad at all actually and he's ten and a half inches and he's not 
a leather. Oh, oh, he's running away. He's not a leather. He's, he's said practically you could call him a smoothie because he doesn't have like leather scales. It's not leather back, but it's really smooth. Like it, the scaling is just a little more than what a leather bag has. So thanks for watching. Um, you will see his cage in a few days when I make his update video. I'm just going to give him a bath now, put him in there, let him warm up. So thanks for watching. Bye.